here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making this lovely pouch here. Now it's a really big pouch with a nice opening here which makes it easy to put things and take them out. Now I suggest you might be able to keep your crochet hooks in there or maybe even your phone and your keys if you hang this close to where your coat is kept or maybe even some pens to take notes there's so many things you could do with this pouch in the bathroom in your office in your bedroom in your hallway it's such a practical thing sometimes to have a little pouch to keep things together so you know where you've put them Okay, so let's get going on making this pouch. So for this project, I'm using Bobbini 3mm cord. It's a braided cord and it's recycled cotton. It is meant for a 6 to 8mm hook. So I'm going to be using a 6mm and the colour is natural. So I'm also using this wooden ring, which came in my macrame accessories starter pack which I found in my local haberdashery and there's lots of stuff in here so I thought I might as well use the ring. I will be using my six millimeter crochet hook. Okay so let's get started. We're going to make a slip knot, make it whichever way you usually make it, insert your hook and we're going to chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen, and fifteen. Then we're going to use the fifteenth and the first chain as our corners. So we're going to place multiple stitches in these. So, first of all, we're going to get started with a chain for our height. Then you're going to go into that 15th chain and you do three single crochets. One, two, and three. When we come back, we will place another one in there. Then you will have 13 chains here. So not counting the last one, which you are going to use for your front and the back of your pouch. So we are going to be picking up each stitch and placing a single crochet in it. So we work our way back to our first chain. So now you will be doing 13 single crochets along your chain. So when you've done your 13, this should leave you with one chain and in this chain you're going to do four single crochets because of course this is going to be your side, your corner, your place where your bag turns. And as you can see it kind of turns on its own because you're putting so many stitches in. Just keep putting them in and yeah there we go. So I've turned around and also my end here is now being incorporated as well into my work. So I'm going to try and keep doing that as well. So now we are going to work our way back along the chain towards our last chain there. So we are going to be placing single crochets in the little strand that's left over from that initial chain. So you're picking up the remaining strand of the chains and you work your way all the way to the other side, laying across as well your end. And then when you have done your 13 single crochets along the side here, you will end up at that first chain that we used for those three but of course we need to do another one so we're going to do another single crochet in there then we skip the chain that we did 
and we go under the next V to do our slip stitch and to finish our base. So this is the base of our little bag. And now we are going to work on our sides. But first of all, before we actually start the stitch, we are going to do a round of single crochets in the back loop only. So this is the front loop, this is the back loop, and this is the loop that we will be picking up. So this here is your outside of your bag. This will be inside. So first of all, we're going to chain up one, and then we will start here by picking up the back loops. And you just need to put one stitch in each back loop. So we are using single crochets. So I've just made it all the way around and already my sides are standing up nicely as you can see. And so here I've got the last stitch to do. Now this stitch is the one where the chain is coming out of. So I'm going to disregard this chain. So I am going to do a stitch in here. So that's my stitch for this. But now, of course, we're doing a slip stitch. So if I do the slip stitch in here, then we've got an extra stitch. So I'm going to do the slip stitch in the next V and that lays it over this one sort of mimicking another slip stitch there okay so now i have 34 stitches going around my work and now we are going to get started doing the linen stitch <music> So for that, you will need to work up a chain first. And then we do a single crochet in the first stitch. And then we do a chain. We then skip a stitch and we do a single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next chain one, skip, single crochet in the next. And this is how you will continue. So this is what it looks like for now. So I've just done my last single crochet here of this round. This one here with the chain coming out of it is one for a chain. We skip that one then we have to do our slip stitch. But if I do a slip stitch here, then I will have created an extra stitch. So I'm not going to do that. The slip stitch that I am going to create is going to lie over here. So I am going to go into the chain space and do a slip stitch, making sure it lies over that single crochet here. And now we're in a location where we're going to do a chain and then this actually is a location for a single crochet because from now on you're going to do single crochet chain one still but your single crochets are going to be located around the chain spaces so around the chain ones that you did in the previous row so single crochet around the chain chain one, skip the single crochet, single crochet around the chain, chain one, skip, and so on. So this is how you are going to be building your pouch. And I am going to have a look at how tall I want my pouch, but I think about 12 rows of linen stitch will do. <music> So I have now done 12 rows of linen stitch. So that's after my single crochet round here. And now I'm just going to have a look and see if I can designate the middle stitch. So here we have four stitches for the corner, the same here. So then I start counting one, 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 one. One, one, and there we have it. This one here is the middle stitch. 
So I am going to put a stitch marker around that one. So of course now we're going to get started again with our linen stitch but here we are going to leave more and more stitches free so that we create the opening and of course it's handy to have this middle designated. So let's do a chain and then a single crochet in the opening here because that is what needs to happen. Chain one, single crochet and so on until of course we get to our stitch here. So we're not going to use it and I am just going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch. There we go. And then I'm going to do a chain and I'm going to turn. And so now we're no longer working in rounds, but we will be ending and turning, ending and turning like this. Okay, so yeah, here I've done my single crochet, so I should be doing a chain over that. I have done a turning chain, so I'm going to keep that as my chain. And now I'm going to do a single crochet in the opening here. So that means it's going slanted, you see? So we're using the turning chain as a chain that we should have done over our single crochet. And then off we go again, doing our little repeat. And of course here you will just have to bridge that little level difference because of course we've done some extra stitches there. But you just keep on going. And of course now you're working from the back so it looks a little bit different but I'm sure you can still find the chain spaces to go into to place your single crochets and then you do your chain one. So when we come to the stitch just in front of the one with the stitch marker we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did on the other side. So you go into it, I do a little slip stitch, chain one turn then yes I should do, be doing a chain over this stitch so we're keeping that chain one and then you do a single crochet in the next chain space and off we go again doing our linen stitch there we go so as you see we've now created a dip and so each time we are going to stop right before where we did that last sort of uh, slip stitch here. We're leaving that, but then we're using this one. And so each time you're going to go out and out, your little dip there will become bigger and bigger. And you'll be doing less and less stitches. So here I've done my last single crochet in the chain space and I'm back at the front here. So now we are ready to turn, but we need to just do a slip stitch to make it nice and slanted. So we're going to go into the next V that I see there and do a slip stitch. Then I do a chain, I turn. And this turning chain, I'm going to use that as the chain that I should have done on top of the single crochet for my linen stitch. And so here now I am going to go and do my single crochet in the first available chain space. Chain one and off we go again doing our repeat. So I've made it round to the other side again. Once more I've put a single crochet in that last available chain space. There's nothing else I can use here so I'm just going to go under the next V here, do a slip stitch, chain one, turn and just start doing my, yeah, so here the single crochet again. There we go. And you keep on doing this until you think your back of your pouch here is tall enough. So as you can see now, I have reduced so much that in fact I am no longer 
coming to the front so I'm just going up and down at the back I think we're getting there so as you can see we've got sort of a growing back part here and looking at it yeah one more reduction and then I will attach so just doing my slip stitch here then chain one and turn and so this time I'm going to be placing single crochets on top because I want to finish nicely and have something to work with. So just a single crochet in every stitch. So here one as well. Then here we do a slip stitch. Okay, so we've got these four single crochets and two slip stitches basically. So now we're going to chain two, one, two, we're going to turn. So now we're going to take the ring, you're going to do slip stitches around the ring. So we have a hook into the ring, you bring the yarn around your hook and you do a slip stitch. Now we're going to do a double crochet, so you yarn over, you go into the next stitch here, and you do your double crochet then you go into the ring bring round your yarn and you do a slip stitch again double crochet into the next stitch and again a little slip stitch around the ring once more now we go and you do another slip stitch and then of course all we need to do is one two yeah maybe just see how far you get with your chains maybe do three chains but you must make sure that it looks symmetrical to the other side so i've done three chains let me just quickly check see if it hangs symmetrical yeah that's fine because sometimes you know your chains are bigger or sometimes they are shorter so we have now connected our ring to our little pouch here and i think that looks nice so with those strands we are still sort of continuing that triangular shape and i think it looks okay so there you go so all you need to do now is cut off your yarn and make it disappear using a smaller hook so pull through the end and then into the back here i am just going to look for strands where i can thread my end under to make it disappear Hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye